Hi. Uh, before we get started with tonight's Iron Mom run, I want to uh, check out the Horizon Forbidden West uh, state of play. I was at work on my way home when it was airing, so I haven't had a chance to look at much. I saw a few things on Twitter, but not much. So let's check. Uh, let's check it out. I want to take a look. Let's start with this. So this is the sequel to Horizon Zero Dawn, which was amazing. I had a blast with that game. I, uh, it was, it, it's just a shame it came out the same, uh, time as Breath of the Wild did. And because it came out at the same time, it kind of got overlooked Hi for me. Hi everyone, my name is Matthijs de Jonge. I'm the game director on Horizon Forbidden West. Last year, we revealed our ambitious new project. And since then, the team has continued to make great progress on the development of the game. We are very excited and honored to give you an update in this state of play. And in the countdown video leading up to this moment, you have already seen glimpses of the Forbidden West. But now we have something truly special for you. Almost 14 minutes of gameplay captured on PlayStation 5. And you don't have to wait any longer. Let's get right to it. Definitely, like I have a PS5, so we're definitely playing this on PS5. Character models look so good. Right here. Wait, Sleep. what happened? Where's Aaron? Ambush. Ruins are crawling with raiders. They hit our camp hard. We ran and they chased us down. Aaron was away from camp. Scouting. I bet he's still out there. What was that? Uh, Raiders got machines on their side. Yeah, so these are the guys from the uh, the Sun City. You should go after Aaron. If they find him before you do, who knows what they'll do to him? So Aaron, okay, so Aaron's back. You're injured. I have to. Uh, don't worry about me. I'll make my own way out. Get going. I don't think I recognize this guy from before. Yeah. Uh, but Aaron was like the home. In, uh, in Horizon Zero Dawn. What are raiders doing in these So woods? green. I hope Aaron is okay. Like I'm already digging the, uh, the, the jungle kind of style, like the feel. That looks cool as hell. This is one of my things that like I liked the environments of Horizon Zero Dawn One, but like they there were parts where like it was just kind of bland. It wasn't very colorful. Oh. This already looks much more vibrant. Definitely hide there. Damn, these things are metal as fuck. Look at it, like... Like chainsaw mouth velociraptors? Raiders? Riding machines? Alright, I want to override one and ride it, please. That's absolutely something I'm... Maybe would want Another one. Okay, where's its weak point? Okay, there's some components already. I can't remember, did HC did HCD have smoke bombs? I can't remember. I didn't use them if they did. Mobility. 
Maybe I can lose him in here. Oh, okay. Now I'm just looking at the HUD. Okay. Yellow to always indicate you can climb. These guys won't give up. Feels kind of scripted with how they're. Okay. Clean transition. We saw in the first trailer that there was like some underwater stuff. Oh, so like that was a cool I thing. Wonder. That just looks so pretty. It's so colorful too. I could explore underwater for all- like, that just seems like something I'm gonna want to explore is underwater everywhere. I don't see a hunt indication for- I wonder- okay, maybe that's like hiding? But I don't see any HUD indicators for breath, so maybe it's uh, unlimited breathing, which would be cool. Oh, there's gonna be totally sucking here. stuff. There's totally going to be, like, underwater stuff to explore, and, like, sunken ruins. That's going to be cool. Oh, that's a really, like, really, like, transitions from underwater to above ground to, like, surface level. Looks... I, I can't... Like, it looks so pretty! I have friends, okay? I'm not just the ones you slaughtered. Yeah, and Aaron. For me. There's gonna be a dump. Trouble. God, that... You can't... That beard... That goatee, like, beard... It's so good. Yeah, okay, we saw the Woolly Mammoth in the like, trailer, but uh, that's like a more up close look at it. That's cool. <laughs> you guys wouldn't be laughing. I have my hammer. You know, get moving. They seem very, uh, like jungle tribe. I'm guessing these are the main bad guys. <laughs> Big jiggle on the underbelly. I gotta help Aaron and deal with that tremor tusk. This is so good. Now we have two gifts for Nagala a tremor tusk and a loud mouth ulcerop. Which one's ugly? <laughs> Alright, so there's gonna be, you know, human versus human combat. Loot to camp. Human vs. Human Combat was kind of the most boring part of uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, so maybe they improve it? Yeah, got it. This must be Aaron's camp. Raiders made short work of it. Filthy Osaram. Yeah, it's the Osaram. That's that's where the Sun Cities were. Oh, he did. Nice stealth kill. Like, could I take you? That out? looked interesting. Okay, this guy's got a hammer. Uh oh, he's got components on him. Okay. Damn. Okay. Uh, Nice shot. Uh, so Aloy and Tekken win? Alright. Back to the hunt. Should pull out like a super. I wonder if that's like Maybe invincible. Not invincible, but bridge. if there's like no if you have like iframes when you off. do that, so you don't get like you can't just be attacked during the animation. That would be interesting. Get to higher ground. Find a way. Also, the way that the spear like works now. That blue- I don't remember that blue slash being in Horizon Zero Dawn 1. Looks fluid, though. Oh, 
grapple hook. That's what we saw earlier. That's cool. So that'll make mobility a little more uh, the easy. I think I know a way to get there fast. Oh. Alright, we're literally just Breath of the Wild now. <laughs> They're like, hey, Breath of the Wild had that, let's take let's use that too. I I mean it's more maneuverability, so that's cool. Used to have I I going from high up to low like that, it means that there's gonna be more vertical gameplay maybe. Okay, okay overrides are back. That makes sense. Mounts. I hope there's more variety in mounts though. I didn't Mounts use much. I like use mounts just. I didn't even use them in combat. I use them literally just as uh, travel in HCD1. This man has never been happier to see Aloy. Aloy, watch out! Hey, I'm up. Never Didn't catch the name. Deathing ones, vicious. I was gonna say, is that you wouldn't want to blow those off? Oh, okay, that was a weapon wheel. Okay, that's gonna be good for component farming. Look at them pulse lasers. Okay, that's cool. So those look like they're coming from okay, it's from the side of the head, so you want to take those uh, off. Gotta slow you down. Is that the trip caster? There's the slow down effect, yeah, that's like, I'm, where's the bow with the triple fire? That's my favorite, I like the triple fire. Oh, okay, uh, destructible cover. Ground weapons, okay, yep. That was a thing in, in Horizon Zero Dawn, too, you can like pull off components and use them. That's neat how the uh, the canopy comes off as well. I wonder if that like changes its attack pattern. Double grapple? Okay, they're just showing off the combos of maneuverability then. That's pretty cool. But yeah, it definitely seems like it changes its attacks when you knock the canopy off. That's, yeah, okay, that's kind of like the tank on the back of the one, um, like the ones that spew fire and ice, those guys. They had like a weak spot that you would shoot. So the underbelly is the weak spot, okay. Glad to see me. That looks like a fun fight, holy moly. Uh, uh, I owe you another one. Come on. I wonder how far into the game this section this is. I have a present for you. Oh, oh, oh. I found it, Emily. Huh? What'd you send me for? Right before the raiders got me. You did good. Now, let's see where this thing will take us. Okay, the United States. So it looks like there's something on the Gulf of Mexico. That's definitely California. Because they're in San Fran, because that was supposed to be a bridge. You always said a storm was coming. Red lightning? Yeah. And it's almost here. Alright, that looks cool as shit, dude. That looks so cool. It's gonna be so much fun. 
So there you have it. The first gameplay footage from Horizon Forbidden West running on PlayStation 5. We hope you are as excited about it as we are. That's so cool. While we have you here, we would like to spotlight some of the new elements you have just seen in our gameplay capture. And to help with that, please welcome Ben McCaw, Narrative Director on Horizon Forbidden West. Thanks, Matthijs, and hello to all our viewers. Horizon Forbidden West is set a thousand years in Earth's future after yep. a global catastrophe. People live on in primitive tribes, but they're no longer the dominant species. Giant Death, I want to see a fight with that thing. now roam the land, and they are extremely dangerous. The machines aren't the only threat in the Forbidden West. A strange red blight is spreading across the land, it's, and it's it won't be long crops. before it strangles all life. Aloy, our hero, is the only one who can stop the blight. But to do that, she mm. and her companions will have to comb through the ruins of the old world to find the technology they need. In this I wonder quest, if that red blight Aloy is connected to some of the stuff from the first Aaron's game, into the like remains of San Francisco of the past. to find a crucial piece of technology. Erend encounters raiders from a rebel faction of the Tanakh. I want to go back and look at the map. I want to go back and fighters, look at the weapon. But even worse, the they've acquired the power to override machines. To rescue Erend, Aloy winds up fighting them. But first, she it must definitely cross already the looks way more vibrant and pretty than Horizon. We face a lot of obstacles as we traverse the ruins of San Francisco. To overcome them, we've given Aloy some great new tools. Using the focus scanner. You can highlight spots that allow free climbing anywhere in the open world. Yeah, so they're really putting an the emphasis on vertical gameplay. Quickly out of trouble. The shield wing allows you to safely descend from great heights. Now, can you use that as a shield, though? Like, can you actually use it as just a shield? With a diving mask, you can stay submerged it's a as long as you wing? like and take your time to plan a path around amphibious machines or boost through strong underwater currents. I wonder if they'll be underwater and to speed combat. up overland travel, a variety of machines can be overridden and used as mounts or in combat. Combat in Horizon Forbidden West puts a strong emphasis on tactics and player choice. For close range combat, the spear is an excellent option. There's a range of combos that have different uses and effects. Valor surges add a unique set of special abilities. One of which can be used to that looks straight up like enemies. a super in a fighting game. The spear game. can be charged to create a high damage effect that can take down even the stronger enemies. These animations are clean. They're really clean. A wide array of different weapons is quickly accessible via the weapon wheel. A slingshot with adhesive grenades to temporarily stall machines. Both with oh, I didn't even notice that it had like a a powerful launcher, like a like a kind of grease effect, but impact. maybe it looks like it. Uh, Smoke bombs to temporarily them? blind enemies. Or you can pick up weapons shot off from machines. Yeah, that was like the saw. Like, there was weapons, like the saws that you would can fire. Be I remember on a that one. But more on that another time. That looks so cool. The player will need to be smart and creative and use all of the combat options we have shown to deal with a large variety of deadly machines. Sun wings in the sky, claw striders and tremor tusks on land. Tremor Step tusks? In the water. That's a cool name. Even the seemingly harmless burrowers that you saw briefly swim by. They are all dangerous, and even more so when overridden by human rebels. Yeah, chainsaw teeth We've dangerous? We've scratched the There's surface no of the rebel threat, as Aloy will fight them in many forms throughout the game. And to defeat them, she must explore the open world to uncover the secret behind their power. And how that secret is related to her quest to stop the blight. This is just one of the mysteries she will unravel as her journey through the Forbidden West takes many twists and turns. It's time to wrap it up. We will have more updates closer hmm. to launch, and everyone here at Guerrilla can't wait for you to experience okay. the full What's the game. launch? Thank you for watching. When, when, is, when is launch? No date. Okay. That's unfortunate. So I get hmm. No date makes me wonder if this section that they showed is just like really polished for that section. But like, I don't know. It's right before E3 time. No date. Uh, I don't want to say 2022, but I'm thinking 2022 at this point. 
I don't think they want to announce a date. You know what? You know what it is? They don't want to announce a date yet because Breath of the Wild 2 hasn't announced a date yet. And they do not want to encounter the same problem as last time, putting Horizon Zero Dawn at the same week of Breath of the Wild 2. I, that, I'm, I'm fully convinced they are waiting for one or the other to announce the date. And I think Nintendo will announce it first, and then uh, probably like maybe a month or two later, they'll announce a date. That'll not be the same week. Because Horizon Zero Dawn definitely got overshadowed by Breath of the Wild. It, it easily did. So they're, they're definitely waiting for Nintendo to, to announce that date. Let me go back and take a look at a few things here. Um, where's that weapon wheel? It's like during the fight with the, th the giant guy. It's like in here. Gotta keep oh, here we go. Uh, so, crypto, there's electric arrows. I'm get Is that the launcher in the bottom? bottom left part of the wheel there's i don't know what that arrow is in the bottom in like the bottom left as well shock explosive there's another shock it looks like a trip caster Osiram forge blast Sp no that's the spike thrower basic explosive javelins rocket shot there's the crafting system of course Okay, so Osram weapons are here. If I can see. Aaron, stay put. I'll handle this. I have her. Come on. Got ya. Wait, load. Oh, it's being a dick. So I'm trying to do this through VLC now. Oh god. Okay, well that's cool. I think we'll just call it there. Um I'm excited. Uh I'll definitely stream it when it comes out. Alright. Let's go to Pokemon. <laughs>